Hi, this is uh, my binaural beat patch. So this top row up here is our audio section. We've got a left oscillator and a right oscillator. This middle is the difference between the two oscillators. And depending on the difference mathematically, this will create uh, different wavelengths of binaural beats. Um, and up here we can change between binaural, monaural and isochronic uh, tones. Uh, with binaural, we can also change between a simp simple binaural or complex binaural. Uh, so down here is um, just the main section. We've got a big traffic light system of a uh, on-off. We can turn it on and off. And this is our audio analysis. Uh, we can either choose between the audio from the binaural section or we can choose an external microphone section. Uh, these two windows will just give us a MIDI pitch and... Um, a simple frequency response graph there. So if I just turn it on and um, oh, actually before I do that, I'll just explain this bit. This is uh, my router section, so we can choose any element of the audio and control the visuals uh, by selecting, say, loudness on this side and color on this side, and this will influence this box here. The scene will change the background. Uh, full will take this visual box into full screen mode. Uh, and in full screen mode we can control this uh, 3D object and then reset will just uh, take all these audio elements and reset them back to off so they're not controlling the visuals anymore. So if I just turn it on and give a little example. So there's uh, 200 hertz in the left and 198 hertz in the right. I can just affect these. And as you can see, the uh, binaural beat is changing as we get closer and matches them. And that's creating certain wavelengths. Uh, this bar up here is also a master volume, so if this is peaking, we can just turn this down. So if I was to change this to complex, it would take our six binaural hertz and it will um, add to two more frequencies to the left and two more frequencies to the right and the average will still say stay at six so if we do that you'll notice our um, volume just changed and that's because we're adding four more frequencies and so we're just reducing the, the volume slightly to so it doesn't clip as much now we can change the width the deviation which is the range between the, the two added frequencies on each side so if I do that just so you hear it you can see our frequency response graph just showing what's happening there. Now say I wanted the loudness to control the colour. We can change the loudness up here. Or we can control the size. and the brightness could control the position. Um, so that's just a quick demonstration if I just show the uh, isochronic tones. So this takes our 6 hertz of binaural beat and it applies it to a any kind of media. So if we go to isochronic, we can select a song in a wave format, and we can see the amplitude of this song has been modulated by the binaural beat amplitude. And we can still control uh, the left and right. We can't hear it, but we can uh, affect the final volume control. Uh, and again, we can still control uh, the visuals. If we were to change this to microphone, a uh, simple media player up here, we can stop the song. We can load another song and play to start it if you want. 
But at the moment we're just monitoring uh, my voice in the microphone and so this is our frequency graph still giving me the same information but we can also use this to control the uh, the visuals so if I just go into loudness and position whenever I speak it increases the position that's why it's moving and if I just show you demonstrate this in a full screen version uh, we can see that uh, the visuals are moving you can't see the whole screen at the moment but uh, for example I can actually uh, adjust and control this 3D object. So uh, uh, it's just spinning at the moment. It's reacting to my voice, so it's quite glitchy. I can change that uh, just by turning the loudness off, and it will stay in that same place. Um, and now I can click and control this. But when I come out of full screen view, uh, the current status of the object comes back in this window. Uh, one last thing as well, this um, binaural frequency is controlled in the background. So if we uh, just click the scene button, we can see that the background color is changing direction. It's rotating uh, at a frequency of 2, but if we uh, change this to and increase it, it will take longer to rotate the color. So the lower the the binaural, the quicker the, the background rotates and then we can also turn it off as well to get our standard background colour. Uh, that's it, thanks for watching.